with the arrival of the Xiaomi Mi Band 7, owners of the Mi Band 6 might be wondering if they're missing out on some big new features. The budget fitness tracker is one of the biggest selling wearables of all time, and each generation has brought big fitness tracking features at a fraction of the price of Riles. Although you'd expect a newer iteration of the Mi Band to be the clear-cut winner, it's not that simple. This video will walk you through the key differences and similarities between the Mi Band 6 and Mi Band 7. Xiaomi rarely switches up its Mi Band formula, and it's a strategy that has worked well so far. However, the company hasn't shied away from introducing noticeable changes to the Mi Band 7 in a bid to keep up with its rivals. Let's start with the display. The Mi Band 5 packs a larger 1.1-inch screen compared to the Mi Band 4. The Mi Band 6 continues this trend, growing to 1.56 inches, but the new version received 1.62-inch. Notably, this increase doesn't come with the penalty of a larger body. The Mi Band 7 is only slightly wider than its predecessor. If outdoor visibility is a critical factor for you, both fitness trackers will yield similar performance. Maximum brightness readings for both screens top out at 450 nits bright enough for reliable outdoor peaking. The Mi Band 7 still lacks an ambient light sensor, so you'll need to dim the tracker's display in darker areas manually. Nevertheless, the Mi Band 7's larger display should mean it'll be easier to spy stats on the move. They also offer the same 5 ATM water resistance distance rating, making them suitable for showering and swimming in water up to 50 meters depth. Both Mi Bands offer a wealth of features to monitor your health and fitness, with some differences on the sensor and tracking front that might sway you towards the newer Band 7. They largely match in the sensor department, with both using accelerometer and gyroscope sensors to track motion and optical heart rate sensors, to continually monitor heart rate and during exercise, with a breakdown of time spent in heart rate zones. That heart rate sensor also powers stress tracking and PI scores, which both bands support. The Mi Band 7 Additionally includes an SpO2 sensor that will let you take on the spot blood oxygen measurements and can also be used when you switch on the sleep breathing quality feature. This means it can be used to help detect breathing disturbances, which may could help offer insight into why you might have had an interrupted sleep, whether that's related to exercising late or having a drink. Xiaomi is keen to stress though that it's not to be used for medical purposes and doesn't carry any sort of regulatory approval. You also get the same sleep monitoring with a breakdown of sleep stages including REM sleep, which is tied to memory and learning. You'll get a sleep score score, some analysis and let you see how your sleep compares to other users. The bands largely offer up a similar performance for sleep tracking, which can have its good and bad moments on the accuracy front. Activity tracking also gains some additional points on the Mi Band 7. While its predecessor tracked only 30 sport modes, the Mi Band 7 turns this up to 100. If you're concerned with multi-sport compatibility, the Mi Band 7 is the ticket. The Mi Band 7's sleep tracking accuracy is better than the previous generation. For smartwatch features, everything you get on the Mi Band 7 you already get on the Mi Band 6. Both work with Android phones and iPhones and cover those smartwatch staples. You can view notifications, control music, view weather forecasts, set alarms and reminders, view the time from different time zones, and have your pick of a rich collection of watch faces. I also like the presence of features such as Xiaomi Eye Voice Assistant and NFC in the new Mi Band 7. At the same time, the last feature will be useful, since you will be able to pay for your purchases, not only in China. They're level packed in this department with both offering a good problem-free experience based on our time with them. Also the Xiaomi Mi Band 7 will come equipped with a 180mAh battery. That's a big upgrade on the 125mAh battery powering the Mi Band 6. In this case, the total operation operating time will be about 2 weeks for both models of trackers. To get that maximum number, you'll need to sacrifice features like continuous heart rate monitoring, or opting for a larger interval recording time. You'll also need to turn off all day stress tracking and advanced sleep monitoring, and go easy on screen brightness. Ultimately, you're going to get a solid week's worth of tracking with all features in use on both fronts, with the Mi Band 7 seemingly able to edge you closer to those maximum 14 days. So, who wins between the Xiaomi Mi Band 7 versus Mi Band 6? Choosing an outright winner between these two Xiaomi trackers is a tough task. The Mi Band 7 doesn't win simply because it's newer and offers more, and the Mi Band 6 remains a valid option on price alone, even if it lacks features. That said, the Mi Band 6 packs solid basic fitness tracking, has a reliable heart rate sensor, and features excellent battery life. It's the choice companion for those starting on their fitness journey, or who need more advanced features. The Mi Band 7 is an obvious vertical step for those wanting a little more data from their tracker, if you are looking for more. The 70 added sport tracking modes widens its usefulness for those not merely wanting to cycle, jog, or swim. Users will have to contend with shorter battery life, but a week is nothing to sniff at. Additionally, Xiaomi got a good update at work the Mi Band 7 sleep tracking and heart rate monitoring reliability. Overall, both trackers offer excellent value at their respective price points, but we do feel the Mi Band 7 is the better purchase. Thank you for watching this video, write your opinion about the new generation of smart bracelets you have chosen, have a nice day and see you soon.